Grace is a midwife at a local health center. Every day she helps deliver babies. Today at the health center, Mary is in labor. Grace knows that some bleeding after a baby is born is normal. However, if a mother's uterus does not contract after the birth of the placenta, the bleeding can become severe. This is a life-threatening emergence called postpartum hemorrhage. Uterine balloon tamponade, or UBT, is a medical procedure which helps to stop severe bleeding and can save lives. Grace has a ready-made UBT kit which has a Foley catheter with a one-way valve inserted in the end, a large syringe, two pieces of string, and a condom. She also has gloves and clean water. She stores the UBT kit and equipment in a clean, accessible place. Grace helps to deliver Mary's baby, then gives drugs to help the uterus to contract. Grace gives 600 micrograms of misoprostol or an injection of 10 units of oxytocin. But once the placenta is delivered, Mary begins to bleed. Grace performs uterine massage to slow the bleeding and then checks that the placenta is whole and that no tissue has been left inside the uterus. She makes sure the bleeding is not coming from a tear in the cervix or vagina. But Mary is still bleeding heavily. So Grace empties the bladder and gives a strong dose of misoprostol or oxytocin to help contract the uterus. Grace also continues to massage the uterus. Mary continues to bleed heavily. The normal methods to stop the bleeding have failed. Grace knows that Mary is losing too much blood and this is now an emergence. Grace must act quickly. She uses the UBT kit. Grace makes sure she has enough light so that she can see clearly. She washes her hands with clean running water and soap. Puts on clean gloves and opens and assembles the UBT kit. She inserts the catheter halfway into the condom balloon. She carefully wraps both pieces of string around the base of the balloon, tying it tightly to the catheter making sure it will not come loose. She draws clean water into the syringe and attaches it to the catheter at the opening used to fill the smaller Foley balloon, which is at the top of the catheter. She inserts the UBT into the uterus. She pushes 15 ml of clean water through the catheter into the Foley balloon to make sure the UBT does not come out. Grace then draws water into the syringe and attaches it to the one-way valve into the catheter. She pushes water into the main condom balloon inside the uterus. As the balloon fills with water, it inflates. She repeats this action using as much water as necessary to stop the bleeding. Each time Grace removes the syringe to refill the balloon, the one-way valve in the catheter prevents the water from coming back out. If a UBT kit with a one-way valve in the catheter is not available, a clamp can be used on the catheter to prevent the water from coming out while refilling the syringe. As Grace continues to add water, the balloon inflates and puts pressure on the inside of the uterus, which is where the bleeding is coming from. This pressure stops the bleeding. Grace then gives Mary a single dose of antibiotics to reduce the risk of infection. 
If the bleeding does not stop, Grace should check the UBT is correctly positioned and that there is no other source of bleeding. The balloon must remain inside the uterus for 6 to 24 hours. Grace regularly checks to be sure that Mary is no longer bleeding and that her uterus has contracted. She also regularly checks Mary's vital signs, such as heart rate and blood pressure, while the balloon is in place. In order to remove the UBT, Grace attaches the syringe to the catheter and slowly draws out one or two syringes full of water to lower the pressure without taking out the balloon. She watches for 60 minutes. If the bleeding starts again, Grace must refill the balloon with clean water and arrange for Mary to go to the nearest hospital. If there is no bleeding, Grace uses the syringe to remove all the water from the balloon. Deflates the small foley balloon and then removes the UBT from the uterus completely. In most cases, the UBT will successfully stop the bleeding. Mary and her baby are safe and healthy.